you are looking at the nicest tooling system I have ever used in my machining career. Golden Bolt's quick change tooling system is not only really, really easy to use, but when you take this thing apart and see how it's made, it is really, really impressive how this all works. So let's take it apart because I want to show you how sweet this stuff is. So how easy is it to change a tool on this system? It's as easy as breaking loose one screw. You break loose this one screw and pop your tool out and there you go. Now you can change your tool. Now let's say you want to put a new tool in but you don't want to touch it off. Well that's what this presetting station is for. So you just store your holder in there, lock it down, tighten it down for good measure. Now I'm going to put the same tool back in but use your imagination here. I'm going to break these guys loose, there's screws on the top as well, and take your tool out, right? And you go walk to your little toolbox, you go grab your new tool, you come back with it, and now you throw it in. But if you put this in like this, you'll have to touch it off in the machine. So Golden Bolt has a nice little tool presetter where you're going to flip it up, tighten it down, and if you touch all your tools off like this, this will be right. So we'll snug everything up first. There you go. Now your tool is touched off. You break this loose, break this guy loose right here, slide it out, you go back to your machine, and you put the tool in the machine and you tighten it down. Now, what's impressive to me is that, yeah, you just put a new tool in your machine, all right? Yeah, that's cool. But what's really nice is you also just plumbed the coolant. One of the biggest problems on a Swiss machine is when you throw all these tools in there, you have to have all these hydraulic hoses going all over the place, chips get wrapped around them. There's just, it's just a mess, right? You have to loosen a bunch of stuff, you have to change a bunch of stuff over, or you have to aim lines, make new lines. It's a lot of work. The second you put one of these tools in this holder, they're already plumbed up. The coolant is running through the inside of the holder. So here's how the coolant is plumbed through this holder. If you look closely, you'll see there's a P1 right here and a P2 right here. These are for two different incoming hydraulic lines which you'll run high pressure coolant through. Now, every single holder as you go up has a P1 and a P2 set screw, okay? If you loosen a set screw, like on this one down here, you'll, you'll see I have P1 is backed off and P2 is tightened down. This will allow P1's coolant to flow through this manifold and out the holder. Now where does the coolant come out? And you look at the end, you'll see there are three holes right here. So the coolant actually runs through the holder, through the block, through the manifold, right to the tool. You'll notice there's a hole right here. Each one of these holders has this hole. Each station on its top rail has a hole that's going through this entire block to this manifold. Each holder has a hole on the top rail as well. When you put this on, you match those up. Okay. When you tighten this down, it locks it down and seals it, which will allow the coolant to go through the entire holder and go right to the tip of your tool. If you want to take your Swiss machining to the next level, make sure you reach out to Keith at TitansCNC.com and let him know what kind of Swiss machine you have, and he can get you hooked up with a tooling system like you see in this video. So this might look like a normal ID block for a Tornos GT32, but it's not. It's actually quick change. If you break this screw loose right here, you can pull out just your tool station. And that's really convenient because every time you have to stick your hands in this thing to change all these little tools and all these little caps, it leads to scars on your knuckles. So trust me, being able to take this out of the machine and throw it on this holder right here to work on it is extremely convenient. Now that I have this out of the machine, I can actually take these out and show you one more thing about how this works. It is incredibly fascinating. So normally, when you have ID tools in your machine, you'll have little plugs like this, right? And you'll have to run different fittings to the back and again run hydraulic hoses to each one that you want coolant to go through on in order to get coolant to come out through your tool. Well, again, this chips get wrapped around this. It can be super inconvenient. It can be hard to get all the wrenches in there and stuff. It's a lot of work. But what if I told you right now these holders already have coolant plumbed to them with no lines? Check this out. When I break this loose and I take my ID tool out, you'll notice right here there's a slot inside the station, okay? You'll also notice on my tool, there's holes right here. Now, depending on how far you want this to stick in or out, you'll either plug this set screw or open this set screw. Either or, it doesn't matter, all right? The second I put this into this station, over that slot and tighten it down, it's got coolant through. The coolant's going through the whole holder now. That's all you have to do. That will save you so much time and headache. It is insane. So now, you see there's two rails right here, okay? You'll also see it's labeled one through four. Well, if you look at the stations, so you'll see these are labeled one through four, all right? That correlates with this right here. So when you take this set screw out for one, station one is gonna have coolant through going through that slot. It's all drilled and tapped and plugged through the holder. 
which is really, really convenient. But let's say you don't want that. Let's say you don't want to use the sleeve. You want to use something else. They also gave you plugged holes where you could put just the standard, you know, fitting or whatever to have your coolant come right out of your tool. So you can kind of do whatever you want with this. You don't have to use this system, but it's in there and it's really convenient. And if you want to use the old school way, you can do that as well. So depending on what station you want to have coolant to, you just you take that set screw out. And if you have the set screw out and you throw this on, you now have coolant through to your holder. So let's throw these in the machine. I want to show you how good this works in actual practice and not just on my toolbox like this. All right, so this is your more standard Swiss setup, right? You have a wedge system that holds your tool in. Now, if you want to have through coolant to like your kind of metal tool here, you have to run a line to the back of the tool. But if you don't have a kind of metal tool and you don't have through coolant, you have to have some sort of aluminum manifold here that has a bunch of different lines going to the tools. So this is why the Golden Bolt system is so convenient because instead of doing all of this, I can just pop loose one screw slide my holder out, do all the work over at my tool bench without having to have my hands in a machine, slap that holder back in there and tighten down one screw and the plumbing is done. You don't have to run a bunch of lines. You have to run one line and all your tools have coolant. All right, so now we are gonna take all of this out and throw all of our golden bolt holders in here. This machine's gonna look a lot prettier. I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see how good these holders actually repeat. I set up a simple test part where I turn the OD and bore the ID. And in between each part, I'm gonna take these two holders out, put them back in, and we're gonna see how good they actually repeat in the machine. So the material I chose for this test cut is 17.4 pH stainless steel. On the main, on the turn, I'm taking a 30 thousandths radial depth of cut. And on the ID bore, I'm only taking off 5 thousandths radially. It is so nice having that high pressure coolant just set up like that, not having to do any work. All right, so that's our first part right there. Let's take out our holders and put them back in and see how well it repeats from the first part to the second part. All right, everything's tightened back down, so let's run another part and see how good this really repeats. I mean, it is really impressive to me that you can just pull that holder out of the machine, throw it back in, and the coolant's all plumbed, ready to go. That is really, really, really convenient, especially with how nicely aimed it all is, right? It's like on top of the tool, behind the insert, so it's getting perfect coolant flow, and I can just take that out, put it back in, don't have to worry about hooking anything back up. I gotta say, that is really, really impressive. All right, let's get our second part out of there and see how good it measures. So we have a 324 and a 325 pin. The first one, we want 324 to go in, which it does. And 325 like sticks. If I had to guess, it's just right under 325. On the second one, 324 goes in, and 325 stays out. So I'd say it's a little bit smaller than the other one, but still, within a thousandths, that's still pretty good for taking that whole holder out. Now, for the second test. This is gonna be a little out of round, so we're gonna find the high spot. So 341. So the high spot on this one's 1.0343, and the high spot on this one is 1.0345. <laughs> so that repeated within two tenths. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. It, you can't really expect much more from changing a tool holder out than to repeat within two tenths. So I gotta say, I am blown away by this, honestly. I am super stoked that Golden Bolt sent these products out for us, because now my life just got that much easier, because whenever I want to change a tool or an insert, I can use my presetter to set it, throw it back in the machine, no problem, it'll be within a couple of tenths. So thank you, Golden Bolt, for sending this out to us and letting us showcase it in this video. It was awesome.